Odd video today, we are going to do a bit of maintenance around water leaks, sunroof and water leaks and the two are intrinsically leaked. So we're going to jump in, we're going to recalibrate, resync the sunroof in case anyone's sunroof isn't opening or closing because that's one thing that will not necessarily result in water loss but isn't going to help. Then we're going to check the drain channels on the sunroof and we're going to check the drain channels on the air intake on the front cowling. Um, right, so you jump in that side in, I'll go around. Right, so let's have a start. Sunroof. Now, not all cars will have them, but there we go. Um, right, so there's the sunroof. Turn the ignition on. Let's just close the sunroof, slide the switch, it'll close and click. I think I can do that with one touch. We'll do that. Right, okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to press to open it. But we're going to hold it, and this is where the sink. So there's closes. so there's three ways that you can slide. You can slide the switch back to open it, to slide it open. You can slide the switch forward to close it, and you push the switch in to tilt it. That's it. Um, yeah. Which sort of makes sense because you are sort of pushing it up and out, aren't you? So we're going to push it to tilt it. Keep the finger and then on keep it. it held. And we should hear the motor click. So we'll, we'll stop talking. Right here we go. Just heard it there about 20 so seconds. A, so we boom, heard boom. a little click, right? Or it may, or it may um, a little do movement. a little movement if it feels like it needs to adjust right, itself. And while, while that's in its calibration mode now, we're gonna close it, open it fully. Sorry, so I've just slid the thing, slide it all the way back. So that will now learn the this, and then we'll do the one touch close, which apparently you just press it and let it go, and it will learn now. Ooh. Let's have a look, was it meant to do that? Let's try again. Doesn't like that very Doesn't much. like that, does it? It was working. Right, let me try and... There we go. So I'm not sure quite what's supposed to happen there, but the one touch is closed. But this is sealing and it is sitting nice and flush. There's no gaps anywhere around it on our one. Right, let's look at the drain hole. So let's open it up. You can step there, Ian. Right, so I'm going to... Yeah, one touch open. Right, now in the corner of the thing, can you see there the... We might need a light with you. I will grab a light or a torch. Right. Right in the corner, there should be a little hole. Right. Now, it might help if I if I put the, the wire in. You can see better. You can see the wire. Can you see that here? Yeah. See that little, where the wire is disappearing in the corner there? Right. So sometimes this get, gets furred up. And normally in this top corner, you get all mouldy and furry. So what we're going to do is we're going to check each of the drain holes. So I've got some soapy water here and I'm going to pour it just in this top corner and then you'll see it, hopefully, come out. Oh, I spilled a bit. Oh, yeah, not gone out yet. There we go, starting to. It's a slow dribble, but it's a dribble. It's got like a rubber grommet on the end, doesn't it? I think it's, they've got a little like one-way valve in it or something. I think they've got a valve in them to slow them down, down. so it might not come out quite as fast as you pour it in. Right, now the same, the same is true on this other side. So if I grab the camera now here, we'll swap rolls here. Alright, you might need... Now, right, just to show you where we're looking on the car, the drain hole comes down here, down here. And it's just about under your mirror, under the car here, where Ian's looking. Okay, now, the problem is on this side, which is the right side, the problem is that you've got the air tank here. So under here, we've got the... Well, you can see the water dripping. You've got the air tank there. Thank you, Ian. And then, if we get right under here, what you'll see is there's a little rubber grommet, if I get exactly the right angle, a little rubber grommet, and it's jammed right between the air tank 
I don't even know if you can be able to see it on the video. It's right. And if you haven't got water coming out there, you're going to have to loosen one of the air tank bolts to get it off. And I'm sorry it's not a very good video, but it's right in between this air tank here. You can see the... And as long as you've got water coming out, are you going to pour it in, Ian? Yeah. You can already see some water coming out. Ian's going to... And you should be able to see it coming out of there. It's probably going to make a mess all over my camera. There we go. So that's... Oh! Oh, that's proper flooding out. Right, so that's how to check your drain holes. Now you've got two at the rear as well. Now the rear ones come out of some plastic, but can you do the same thing in pouring it down the well, rear I corner? I put it into the channel because you can't get. So what I did, I put my thumb there to form a little dam and let it sort of run backwards. Okay. Yeah, just in, in this outer channel. As outer as you can get it, not in the. Because that's what the. And then what you should see, if all is good, when you go under the car, we should, with any luck, see water coming out the bottom. I haven't got any yet. Nope. Right, so it looks like we might have one blocked one. Let's try the other side in. You got any water left? Yep. Right, so we're going around the other side now. Let's have a look. So Ian's at the top, we're pouring it down this corner and seeing where it comes out. <laughs> Nothing yet. There it comes. There you go. You can see that coming out right in the rear corner. Now it's it's behind a it's behind a, some plastic up there, so I'm not gonna get under there and get dirty. But if you haven't got it, like we haven't over there. Um, you've got a blocked pipe which could give you some problems. So we'll do a little bit of investigation in that corner. First thing we'll try and do. Let's have a look. Or is it always just taking its time, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got it dripping. So we're all good. Now if you're not good, you're going to have to um, poke something down at the top, check the top of the hole is open, and then have a look at the bottom and see if you can find where the bottom is. If you can't find it, I'll take my car apart and show you. But the biggest problem most people seem to be having is with the front ones. And we've showed you where the end of that is. Anything else we need to... Yes? I think the easier ones to get to are the front ones. Yeah. As long as you've got somewhere for the water to drain, you should... Have right. Issue. Last little thing. Bear with me. You could get a water leak if the water goes in this... goes in through this grill on the front of the bonnet. And that's where your air intake is for your aircon system. Um, so if you just take out the air filter, if you give me a hand in, I'll get those two. Can you get the others? And lift up this flap. Ooh, can you get under it? We just add this out. Oh, there you go, I got it. Got it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Pull out that air filter there. Just give it a pull. Remember which way up it is if it's in. Put a new one in if it's dirty. Right, and if you pour some water in into this cavity, woo, there, right, it should come out. And a trip, and it should, it's got a drain in each corner. So that goes out there. Now that should, can we see that coming out the side here? It should come out under the car. So if you look, it's straight down from the light almost. Straight down from the light, you'll see the water it coming comes, out. It comes out right down low. So yeah, we can't get that on the camera. But make sure you've got water coming out there and likewise test the other side, the other corner, because that's the other thing. It's got a little flap on it in the other corner that you can see open up. Right, two different sorts of water leaks. So if you've got water in your footwells, it could either be when it's raining, it's coming in through one of the things I've shown you, or it could be your aircon unit, there's a drain because your aircon's cold and water condenses on it and it drains. So if you're getting wet carpets in hot weather when you're using your aircon, you need to look at the drains internally. If it's when it's stood overnight in the rain, then it's more likely to be the sunroof or one of those drains blocked there. So I hope that helps you. It's a good bit of maintenance to do anyway. Good luck with that.